Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's Barry Bonds, and this is another episode of Straight No Chaser. Now, right now, where we are and what we're doing, Sunday, happy Sunday to everybody. You know, most of the time I try not to date these by stating the day or the date because I get lazy sometimes and don't put these videos up until later. But now I'm trying to be more consistent. So stating the date and date is allowing me to be more on point. But anywho, happy Sunday. I hope all of you are enjoying yourselves. Today is self care Sunday. My son has a baseball game today. So I'll be uh, heading out there in about ooh, a couple of minutes. So, um, what we're doing now, right now, right now, right now, is I just watched a clip on Instagram, and that clip was of Kevin Samuels, uh, relationship and style coach, um, image consultant extraordinaire, who's really taking a whole YouTube, black YouTube sector by storm within the past couple of years. And uh, I will say that, you know, I've watched from almost the beginning, you know, but um, he had a, a, a pretty interesting clip that I caught this morning. And I was actually in, in bed with my wife when I saw this. And I'll be honest with you for a minute, I kind of shirt and, and I didn't want to play it while I was next to her because I know when you play things like this, a lot of black women, they get real triggered. <laughs> I mean, they get triggered, like pissed off. But I was like, man, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to play this. And however she take it, she take it because to be honest, I believe this shit is true. So this is what the, the clip was about. The clip was about black women not being black men's, well, black men black women aren't your women you know what i'm saying well it was asking let me just state it the way it was asked it was it was asking a black woman the question you know are you our women you know and the black woman that was on there i mean she kept stammering and stuttering and and and, and stumbling over the question asking asking the question over three and four times and she couldn't answer it and the reason is why is because yes she had to admit we are not your women and Let's be honest, black women, you are not our women anymore. And I see that every day. I see that. I remember I said on somebody's, uh, I remember I said on someone's um, stat, I said, I just want black women to treat me how they treat white men. And that's a fact because black women treat white men with such deference and such you know, uh, 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 care, you know, they treat white men so good. A white man can say whatever to a black woman and all they do is laugh it out. Hey, eh, you're so funny, you're so funny. But let me say something. Let me try to even say something or, you know, back in the day when I would try to holler at a chick, like I would tell my white homeboy, I would say, look, Orion, you can get her before I can. She won't mess with me because Black women definitely show, you know, preference and 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 deference to white men. Facts all day. And I'm be honest, I even see with my wife when we're at baseball practice and my son's coach, you know, most of the dads are white. I see how they when they talk or interact with her, I just see how how light and 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 and, and happy and and friendly she is and helpful. And I'm like, hold up. What the hell? <laughs> like, is this my wife? Is this my woman? Cause the way she treats me on a day to day, I mean, I'll be honest, she be mean as shit a lot of times. Aggravated, you know. I mean, a little bit of that's probably because you know I be getting on her nerves, and then some of it's because she's a Gemini. But for the other part, you know, it's just, it's just that that same Aggie type of you know 
demeanor you know like we're just getting on their nerves like you know how you do when you just used to somebody and you're like uh gone get that's how i feel like black women are with black men i feel like one you all feel like we're your men in a sense that you own us not in a sense of you know we're compatibly uh compatible and you know we're we're your soulmates or your mates your life partners you know that in that sense i feel like in a sense of you raised us you feel like you own us so you feel like you could talk to us any kind of way do us any kind of way and you know what you all want us to protect you when someone go upside your head and do all these bad things to you when the cops started messing with you and putting hands on you then you cry out for black men please black men aren't protecting us how the hell can we protect y'all we can't even tell y'all what to do how can we do that we can't even tell you guys to to i saw I, well let me take it to this i saw a instagram no i saw uh it was kevin samuels talking about talking to a young lady and she got mad because black men tell her asking her tell her to smile she said well we don't want to smile and i've done that before as well and a black woman would be like eh face all scrunched up like as if i had called her a derogatory name we can't tell you even simple as a smile then why do you feel like we should risk our lives or we should risk our health and our being to protect you how is it like i, I really have been asking this question for a long time but to be honest because of cancel culture and because of how black women take correction or, or can't take correction and and their lack of uh, accountability and and uh you know and being able to be corrected and take criticism I, I i didn't even ask or even pose the question because i didn't want you know all that would come with it but i gotta pose the question black women who is qualified to lead and direct you who's qualified to tell you anything like who is qualified to do that in the black community in the, in the, in the in the worldwide community meaning other races like who can tell you what to do who can tell you when stuff is not right when you're doing the wrong thing when you're going the wrong direction when you're saying the wrong thing when you're not conducting yourselves right like who can tell you that who can direct you guide and direct and give correction to you it says in the bible you know that a man that can't, can't take correction is a fool that would go for women as well you know usually when you see men and we say and and we get on men because i'll be honest i don't i don't hold my tongue on men either you know i let men know like bro you want some bullshit but usually when i tell black men like yo you on some bullshit black men will at least if i'm right if there's some type of truth to the statement they'll at least admit it and say you know what bro you're right you right, I don't some I ain't on some bullshit. You know, you right, you right, all right, you right, you right. Yeah, that, that's valid point, valid point. They at least give that. Black women deny, 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 deny. Deny to the death. You know, and your denial is gonna pretty much keep you going in the wrong direction. And no one can tell you, hey, you're going in the wrong direction. Now let's be honest here, man. Is that yes, black black men? Yeah, man. Like, we need to get our shit, internal shit, all the way together. Yes, we do. We definitely need to get our shit together. We need to become better fathers. We need to become better uh, providers. We need to, you know, uh, in relationships, you know, put our 50-50 or even our 60-40 in. I do. I agree with that. We do, you know, because a lot of dudes out here just got pussy, pussy, pussy on the brain. And that's all they want to do is smash, smash, smash. Okay. But in that same instance, black women, you know, since very little, very few of you guys are married, one in four will get married in a lifetime. I mean, you don't get married by just being angry and mean. You don't get married or being get chose by just, you know, continue to be so disagreeable and, un, and, and uncooperative and just don't want to help. You know, I mean, in, in the Bible, growing up in the church, we were told that a woman was supposed to be your help me. How can you be anyone's help me when you don't want to help? You know, you don't want to help. So that right there is just one of the issues that we just got to get together, that we got to at least confront. It's time to start having these conversations. All right. We are accomplished. 
A lot of us are out here making six figures, seven figures, eight figures, nine figures, 10 figures. Okay, there is no, there. when you say we are oppressed, I'm looking at how, how the hell are we oppressed? Okay, now yes, we may not be treated as we would want to be treated, you know, and, and, and our, our semblance or our uh, version of being equal Okay, and we may never get that because you, I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, if it's a white man's world and he's running this whole world and whatnot and everything that we're, you know, running in right now, how do you expect him to say, hey, we're going to make sure that you are or are treated equally on every single level, every single metric or, you know, you're going to be treated equally. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not going to happen. And, you know, I understand that. I understand it's not going to happen. But what I'm saying is that it's time to have these conversations because we need to really get it together. This could be the generation where we actually have these conversations and improve male and female, black male and female relationships because it's been a pretty much an unspoken war since the since the seventies. Since the seventies, no doubt. You know, I feel like I feel I feel pretty pretty. Uh, I don't know. I just feel kind of conflicted because. You know, in a sense, I want to say, yes, black women, you know, I applaud you guys. You guys held everything down. But then again, it's like, how can I say that when, you know, in, in a large scale, you know, you, you you're 50 percent of the problem. You caused most of the problem in this situation by choosing to leave the black family, choosing to do this and strike out and do this on your own. OK, because, I mean, relationships aren't perfect. You got to think about it. When a man steps out and he cheats, there's a woman on the other side of that bed or on the other side of that situation. OK, there's a woman on the other side of that situation there. So let's be honest here. It's not happening by himself. It's not happening. You know, he's not by himself when he's doing this. OK, it's not screwing himself. So let's be let's be real about that. But, you know, getting back to the topic of. Uh, of you know our black women are women you know I, I i gotta say no they aren't they aren't flat out they aren't uh he also goes on to say later on that um most men you know feel like hey i'm not worried about white men in society trying to oppress me and hold me back and hold me down i'm worried about the woman laying next to me I'm worried about the baby mama that I had a kid with holding me back, calling the boys on me, calling child support on me, you know, doing all kind of things to try to, you know, get me jammed up because she feels I'm not doing what she wants me to do. These are conversations we need to have. Talk to me, people. Talk to me. Let's talk about that. Because I'll be honest, I don't feel that the white man is holding me down. I don't feel that he's oppressing me in any way, shape, or form. I feel like sometimes the people that look like me are the problems. Those are my biggest problems. When I'm out here in Bed-Stuy and I'm looking, I'm coming home late at night and I'm seeing a young dude and whatnot rolling, walking close to my car with the mask on and hands in his pockets, I'm feeling that heat. And you know why? It's because I've seen it happen before. I've seen dudes pull out pop 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 i've seen that before i've seen it it happens it happened on my street right next door to my crib maybe a couple of months ago i was helping my son with his homework and all of a sudden i heard pop 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 right next door i looked out the window i saw the dude letting off and then running up the street him and his boy this is what happens It could be the dude and whatnot, and for a long time, it was me feeling like, you know what I'm saying, like like it was the women that I was dating. It was just it's just black women in general, just were my problems, were my issues. Like, yo, ugh. the source of my unhappiness, the source of my, you know, lack of peace. Let me say that. And a lot of men feel this way, too scared to talk about it, too scared to say it. It could be your baby mama that's out here pocket watching on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter trying to see what you got just so she can make your life miserable. She could be out here saying all kind of craziness about you saying that, hey, you are a deadbeat dad, this, that, the other. Okay? It could be that person that's oppressing you and causing you, black man, all kind of pain and hell. 
But you're too afraid to have a conversation. I'm not. I definitely want to have a conversation because I feel like it's high time that we start putting people on blast, putting people on the mark and saying, look, you are a problem right here and you need to chill out with this. Like he said, he said, yeah, the issue for some men is that black men or white men are not the problem. They are not the oppressors. It's the woman that's laying next to you. The black woman that's laying right next to you that will make your life a miserable hell because you're not doing what she wants you to do. You're not doing it how she wants you to do it. You're not being the type of man that she wants you to be. So therefore gives you all kind of hell. But let Bradley or 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 Tristan, the white guy, come through. It's no smoke. No smoke for them at all. No smoke for them at all. Social settings, relationships, nothing at all. There is a universal respect for the white man. Black man can't get from even from his own woman. But all other women are doing a part for their men. And they know that they belong to those men. Our women compromise. They don't belong to us no more. And we need to have this conversation. Definitely need to have this conversation. And uh, I'm in this here because I would like for you guys to at least leave it in the comments or at least think about it. Have the conversation with your own significant other. Have the conversation with your own friends, your own brothers. All right. Talk about it. Let's start raising these questions. We can't be afraid anymore to approach our women with correction, with issues that affect both of us. Issues that can actually help break open the key to understanding each other even more. All right. Let's do that. Now, as always, if pissing you off with the truth. Are you ready for this? All right. Yeah. All right. You know what? I wasn't even going to say it for this one because I feel like you're already triggered enough. But if the truth pisses you off, allow me to do the honors. Okay? As you already know, man, this is your man Barry Bonds. This has been another straight no chaser. And always, positive minds move forward. I'm out. Peace. Circle, circle of winners, circle of winners, circle of winners, winners, circle.